All right, son. Here's the house. Yep, yep. The house is quite a beaut, ain't she? Hmm. Yeah. It's a shame about the previous family who owned the place. Huh? Oh! It, it's nothing to shake your core, young sir. It's not a pleasant story. What? You still want to hear it? <sighs> well, if you get scared, just say I warned you. Well, the previous family had a son. And just by looking at you, around the same age as you. And, well, the poor young man got sick and passed away in the house. Why are you looking at me like that? You asked for the story. Anywho, his parents took care of him the best they could. But when the doctors told them that there wasn't much they could do for him, they just decided to keep him at home and let him just go peacefully. <sighs> it was hard for everyone in the neighborhood, especially me. Huh? How do I know all this information? Son, I was their next door neighbor until I decided I just needed to pack up and move into another part of town after what happened. It, it was, it was all too much for me. <sighs> yeah, well, thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy the house, and I didn't scare you too much. Huh? Why did the parents of the young man leave? Mm. <laughs> well, between you and me, they would say they would hear their son sing late at night. Yep, yep. Mr. and Mrs. Peterson already racked with grief over the boy's loss. It became too much to hear him, you know? So, they told me one morning they were packing up and leaving the house for sale. Huh? What was the boy's name? Oh, his name was Tyler. Tyler Peterson. <laughs> Uh, I, I hope I haven't soured your mind with all this doom and gloom about death and loss. No? Huh. Not to be too critical, young man, but you're a little strange, to say the least. <laughs> oh, you've been told that a lot. Well, that's my cue to leave, then. Have a good day, sir. Enjoy the house as much as you can. My mother said the baby's come in models. But last week she said they grew on special baby bushes. Wait a minute. You can connect to people.
people who aren't alive anymore, like me? <sighs> yes. I know I'm dead. Can't you tell? No one can see me, hear me, or communicate with me. Except you. You have no idea. I've been roaming here for... Oh my god. I can't remember how long or when. All I remember was not being able to talk to mom and dad and... And of course, phasing in and out of walls and furniture. Uh, then, I remember trying to communicate with mom and dad, but all I did was drive them away. They couldn't bear the loss of me, and they left me here. Huh? Why haven't I been able to go into the light or whatever? Well, it beats me. Just know, if I could, I would. Since hanging around here isn't glamorous or romantic in any way. Huh. Just my luck. I'm dead, chilling with a medium in my old family home. What a life. Whoops, slip of the tongue. I mean, afterlife. Huh? What was the song I was singing? It's called My Name is Barbara. You know, Babs, Barbara Streisand. My parents loved that song. It was the song they would sing to me before bedtime when I was a child. Ugh. I think I freaked them out hearing me sing that song in death. What? What do you mean you have a hunch? Listen here, Velma Dinkley. This isn't Scooby-Doo, and it isn't Beetlejuice. I'm a ghost, and you're a human who happens to be a medium. We somehow have to learn how to cohabitate this place and make this work for ourselves and each other. <laughs>